And I was going home from my, the, my dad passed, and it was like close to Father's Day. And Father's Day was always weird for me as a kid. Like I remember in third grade, we had to write like Father's Day cards. And I was just standing like at my chair, staring at this blank paper, and everyone was like, I love you, Dad. I'm glad we play catch. And I'm just like, I don't know what to write. I don't see him. And Mrs. Nelson was like, Jason, can you see me in the hall, please? And I go out there, and she's like, I'm so sorry. And like buried my head in her tits, and I'm like, this is amazing. I hope my mom leaves. It was like the first time I ever got, I'm like, what are these things? Later in life, Father's Day became a day that I would, like, do things by myself. I'd build something. I'd go for a hike. One year, I was building something. I went to Home Depot, and as I'm leaving, this black woman goes, Have a happy Father's Day. I go, oh, no, I don't have any kids. And she goes, yeah, I know, but you and your dad. I go, oh, no, my dad left when I was two. And she goes, and you'll be a better man for it. I was like, how do you say that to someone? Only a black woman gets away with that. Literally, she hugged my soul. 27 years of therapy wrapped up in one interaction at the Home Depot. Amazing.